All right, guys, it is hair day, so I'm gonna get my hair done today. Um, so I thought I'd do like what I eat in a day, pregnant edition, just because I'm pregnant and I'm showing you what I eat in a day. I have this very pregnant dress on from Free People. <laughs> um, can't really see the full thing, but um, I'm actually so early to my hair appointment because no one was on the road. Like it normally would take me an hour and a half, took me 40 minutes. An hour and a half was cutting it close, but um, it took me 40 minutes. So I decided to stop at Jones on 3rd. It's a place I used to come to when I lived in the Valley all the time. So I get all my Valley Eats in. I was just made lasagna, which is my favorite, favorite thing he makes right up there with bolognese. But lasagna I love. It just takes very long. And um, he made it last night, but my stomach was like really hurting. I went to the movies with my mom, so I don't know if it was like because I had some popcorn, which always kind of irritates my stomach. But ho, ho, ho. Look at that. This is egg bacon hash brown no cheese let's take a bite mm. Mom. just as good as i remember i had to share my breakfast burrito with instagram and tiktok it's so good mm. they make it fresh on the spot and you can tell We ended up seeing Wonka yesterday and it was so good. I love musicals so much. And while I don't love like going to visit London right now, just in general, I just never really like the food. I feel like I never stayed in the right hotels or the right areas. But I love old London-y things in film. Like I love Sweeney Todd. I love Wonka. Like I'm like, God, I wish I could like be in this movie. That's what it makes me feel. Does anyone else feel that way when they watch a movie? Like, oh man, I wish I could be in this movie. <laughs> or is that something I only think when I go to theater? So I was like, gosh, it would be so fun to be in this. <laughs> I would have been like the old woman at the inn. <laughs> the villain. What was her name? It was like Mrs. Lovitz, but it wasn't. Like Mrs. Shrubitz or something. <sighs> This is seriously so good. I'm gonna eat half of this because I don't want to feel too full. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna use some highlights. Our gender reveals next week. Um, so we lost my hair done before I had my baby. I need to find a place closer to my house because this is so far. I love where I get my hair done, but it's so far. And when there's no traffic, the drive isn't bad, but I just feel so far away. Like, it's so weird. Every time, like, I'm away from Malibu, like, going to the movies or getting my hair done, I just, like want to be back with her you know you always think like oh my gosh I need a break but then like when you get like a little break I'm like I wish I could be with her like I actually feel I just it's not that I feel guilty it's just I don't want to spend time getting my hair done obviously like my hair needs to be done I guess I could just let it grow natural I mean I do have some gray but I don't know it's like getting my nails done too I can't wait for the day she can come with me to get my nails done I mean we'll get our nails done together She's 15 months and she's just so sweet. She really is like just light and positivity to be around. I just love her so much. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to save this though. <sighs> Mm -mm. Amazing. Anyways, go see Wonka. <laughs> Best movie of the year, hands down. Over Barbie. No, I can sleep. That burrito just made me want to sleep for real. <laughs> All right.
Um, I think it's going to tie me over. So I can get some lunch after. But, yeah. I had a trim when I did the paper magazine shoot, so I don't think I need one today. So, hopefully I'll keep the length. Let's see. So, we got the hair done. I'm loving how blonde it is. I'm ready for spring. Um, picked up some food. This is another one of my Valley favorites. It's called the Great the great greek <laughs> oh let me get comfortable okay Woo! i'm excited to eat this the breakfast burrito was such a smash oh, it smells so good i used to get this all the time when i lived here it's chicken and rice which looks so beautiful it's piping hot because i literally i need to get a tray in my car i think this is a tray item but I just picked it up, so it is hot, hot, hot. Mmm, well, it's just so good and so pretty. Oh man, I was like craving this. There's like no really good like Mediterranean places near us. We have chicken kebab places that are like good. How am I gonna even do this? I guess it's just gonna get on my dress. It's gonna get on my dress. Um. Oh my god, it smells so good. This chicken is like so juicy. But I've just been craving rice, chicken and rice. I go to Benihana to get it. I go at pretty much any place to get the chicken and rice because, and it's like not a pregnancy craving. Like I crave it. It's just like, it just sounds so good all the time. Mm. Oh man. This brings back so many memories from this area. My recording studio is also close by. When we used to post make this, when we used to like record music. Mm. Mm. The rice at this place, I would never find it anywhere else. Oh my God. Oh, you know what? Something just tastes so good. This tastes so good. This is like so, so good. There's a bakery close by that we're going to go to, but it closed at 4 and it's 3.35. And if I stopped eating now, I could go get it, but then my food won't be as hot. And that's the deal on my face. This is still from this morning. I like the light shining in. Um, whoo, this is amazing. I just love this chicken so, so much. It's literally so good. Oh, man. I would love a sweet treat, though, you know? And I was like, hmm. You know what's coming up? I didn't even think about this because we have our gender reveal next week. So I wasn't even thinking, but I think I have 16 years on YouTube. No. 2024, I, my first YouTube video was 2007, January 4, 2007. So January 4th, 2024, I'm so bad at math. Is that 17 years on YouTube? That's wild to me. I have to think of something to do. <laughs> 17 years ago, on January 4th, I posted my first YouTube video. Like, I can't even fathom that. Should I try to run to see if I make this bakery? Mm. I'm never in this area and I feel like I should. But that means putting down this hot, warm food that I've actually think never tasted better. Mm. Okay, maybe I should try. It'd be a fun treat for Moses, too. Alright. I literally just want to show this on my face. Mmm! Better than any McDonald's. 
All right, let's see if we can make this. I'm not gonna drive unsafely, but we'll see. I'm only like five minutes away, so fingers crossed. You might have made it, but the parking situation was not happening. It was like in this complex and there was no street parking. I thought if there was street parking, I could maybe possibly make it. I definitely did not make it. <laughs> oh well, I'm just sad that I didn't get to finish this hot. I'm gonna see how this, it probably still tastes just as good, not hot, but the, the disappointment I felt, I was like, man, I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it. I'm like literally on a parking meter on Ventura Boulevard eating this. It's like such crazy hours too. It's still good. It doesn't like slap the same, but. <laughs> hmm. This morning was no traffic and now there's like a ton of traffic. Mm-mm-mm. This is honestly so good. Mmm. We've tried all the Mediterranean kebab places around us and just be like, the chicken's never as good, the rice isn't as good. Well, it's just as good as I remember it too. Mm mm mm. Okay. One more piece and I gotta make my way home. But, man, I saw the bakery, but it was in this huge complex and there was just like literally it was gonna take me like probably five minutes to park down there i was like 10 minutes out i mean, would have been there hmm. we tried mm. Mm -hmm. this was so good i'm so so happy i got this <laughs> It was worth the wait because I was kind of getting hungry in the salon, but like nothing I could have put into the salon would have been as good as that. So I actually think I'm good on the sweets. And I should be good from dinner. Actually, way more than I thought, but it was just so delicious. So. It's called the Great Greek and Sherman Oaks. So, so good. If you're ever in Sherman Oaks and you're in the mood for Greek food, it's amazing. Now for dinner, I'm having leftover lasagna. Um, we had this last night and I've warmed up the next day. It's just so delicious to put in the oven so it's nice and crispy. And sometimes leftover lasagna is almost better than when you have it fresh. And I have been thinking about this all day long. So it's just like a perfect way to end the day of eating. Like I really had the best day of eating. So I'm so glad I filmed it. <laughs> Cause everything I ate was just, I mean, that's like, I've been seeing, oh no. I've been seeing the 100 layers of lasagna challenge. And this is like pretty dang close. I just took it out of the oven. So hopefully it's not too hot. Mmm, mmm. Mm -hmm. It's so good. I'm gonna go in there and watch TV with Malibu Moses, but I had to show you guys this because it's just my husband makes the best lasagna in the whole wide world, and it's just oh, it's so good. Mm. I wish y'all could try this. I'm gonna go finish it. And there, thanks for following my eating journey with me today. Oh. This might be the most beautiful thing in the whole world. Oh, so good. Ground beef, ricotta, mozzarella, parmesan, oodles and noodles. That's where it's at.